please. I am Dorothy. If there's any film that's withstood the test of time and deserves the IMAX treatment, it's Wizard of Oz. This film is so unique. The legacy, its history. We're really proud to have had an opportunity to be a part of it. I started working with Wizard of Oz back about 22 years ago, and it's been great to see it in different incantations. Wizard's the oldest film that's ever been converted to 3D, and it's a real testament to the craftsmen who worked on it and the photography at the time, the three-strip Technicolor, that it can still hold its own technologically. The original film elements had to be scanned so that they were sharp and then the dirt had to be cleaned up, the scratches, all the imperfections that had built up over the years from the handling of these elements had to be taken out digitally. Then Prime Focus did their 3D work. So we're dealing with a 3D conversion, the layering of the shot is definitely key as far as uh, putting things in proper 3D space. We have a lot of layering that they did when they originally shot it in 1939. So for us, we would have to go through and isolate all those different objects, and then in 3D, when we'd layer them, make sure that things that were closer to the camera actually had a lot more volume, and as they fell away from the camera, were actually a lot less. That way, to the eye, it seemed natural, as if you were standing on the set. I got their files that they had done the 3D work on, and I did the color correction in 3D, looking at it on a 3D projector. Being in such a large screen and being in 3D is literally going to put you into Oz. The 3D experience did heighten it a bit, and now you put IMAX on top of that, and it's quite powerful. There's no question that we could not have created this IMAX version without the tremendous efforts of everybody at Warner Brothers and their restoration group. A lot of image science has gone into DMR technology, a render-based process, which is really a fancy word for saying a lot of computers are churning away in the background. So here we are in the IMAX DMR production facility where every Hollywood feature destined for IMAX presentations is optimized and honed shot by shot to bring out all of the detail and reduce the noise. Won't you take me with you? Why, of course I will. We're always trying to mine information that's intrinsic to the negative and, and contained in the negative. Dorothy, for the first time I saw that she had freckles and the scarecrow's face is burlap and I never saw that texture on television and in IMAX you feel it. We're also taking advantage of all the unique attributes of audio that happen in an IMAX theater. Warner Brothers did a great job taking the original Wizard of Oz soundtrack and bringing it into a surround environment. IMAX takes it one step further. We have an extended dynamic range, which means our loud is louder and our quiet is quieter. We have a frequency response that goes down to almost 20 hertz, while most others stop at 40. And that's the stuff you feel. That's what makes it tactile. So when you hear an IMAX movie, you'll feel in reality. I'm not afraid of her. I'll see you reach the wizard. Given the legacy of the film, really retaining the spirit of everything that went into making this film 75 years ago was critical to us. From the conversion process to the IMAX mastering, there has got to have been easily a thousand people involved. It's magical, it's beautiful, it's intimate, it's emotional. Audiences, they're gonna rediscover a classic.